I have been like for a while thinking about like going back to Sydney this year. I was just scrolling through like the rental real estate app and I saw the most beautiful place. We've decided we're gonna go to the park and do like some running intervals and stuff. <laughs> Happy New Year! I can't believe, I feel like it's been so long since I've just even vlogged or picked up the camera. I feel like we had a really big, nice break over Christmas and New Year's, but it is time to get back into work mode and get back into it all. So I feel like we decided to pick up the camera for a couple of days and just vlog the start of 2024 together and just get back into routine and our habits and do some goal setting together and some planning, some vision, vision board making. Um, yeah, I thought it'd just be fun to spend the next few days together. I just got back from a brief little walk in my gym outfit and my new, my new ASICs, which I love. I want to show you guys. I want to show you guys my new ASICs. I got them end of last year from Platypus and I'm actually like obsessed with them and I haven't even worn them that much because I feel like I've just been preserving them and not wanting to get them like ruined or dirty so I have just been keeping my wardrobe. I got Olivia the exact same ones for Christmas so we're matching so I thought she would like them too. I'm gonna make them more of like a lifestyle casual shoe rather than wearing them to the gym and stuff because I just don't want to get them trashed because I like them too much my cute little booking bag from Gymshark. I feel like I just had such a nice relaxing break over Christmas and years and it was so nice like being so chilled out that I didn't have to worry about like just sleep in, eat whatever, there was no routine or like just being so much more relaxed and it's sometimes it's so hard to like get back into routine so I feel like being vlogging and doing it together is really gonna help. But yesterday I went to Officeworks and printed out these tables i'm gonna try and fill them out sometime today but they're just like i want to write down a bunch of goals for like different categories so like financial goals career goals personal goals health goals relationship goals like just all different categories and have like the goal and then habits to do to work towards the goal i would also like to do like a visual vision board from pinterest at some point as well also need to take down the Christmas tree because that's long gone now. Happy New Year, everyone. Oh my God. As if it's 2024. Like, I literally can't comprehend it. We had a little bit of a break off, like, vlogging and work. I had a few, like, celebration days for New Year's Eve and then New Year's Day and stuff. And we're back. We're back and ready to get into everything. It is currently the 3rd of January, just for a little bit of context. Me and my boyfriend like wrote out all of our like goals yesterday. Just like, I don't know, just like kind of, it was pretty brief though. Like we only just like wrote a couple, like a little page of like a couple dot points of goals. But today I kind of wanted to go into a little bit more depth about certain areas of my life, like say, MVP or like work and maybe like type it out so I can like print it out and put it on my like fridge or something one of our goals <laughs> we wrote yesterday was to like wake up early and get like on with the morning early we had our alarm set for six and snoozed it well I didn't snooze it my boyfriend snoozed it but so now it's eight and we've gotten up and we're going to go work out but we did have quite a few big days recently so I'm like we're just catching up on our sleep, but we are definitely like going to be waking up earlier and like getting the day started. From now on, my boyfriend's also starting a new job, so that's going to like encourage us to wake up very early. One of our goals that we also put on our list was to change up our workouts a bit and have a little bit more variety. So whether it's like running or Pilates, um, tennis even, like just anything that's like going to keep make it fun and interesting so we actually decided we were gonna wake up and go to the gym this morning but we've decided we're gonna go to the park and do like some running intervals and stuff like that because I actually haven't ran since for a very long time because I had a sore knee somehow injured it not really sure how but like I just had a sore knee and 
was doing like a lot of rehab with like a physio and stuff like that. So I haven't ran in a very long time. And I also don't know how it's gonna go. Ice coffee time. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, guys, I'm so hot and sweaty. We're off to get coffee now. I'm glad I did that. Very different to what I would ever usually do, but got it done. Now I need a shower and coffee and breakfast. <laughs> Guys, I made my favorite quiche recipe yesterday. So I'm just having a piece of left some leftovers while I do my goal setting. I'm gonna start with, what category should we start with? I think I might start with financial. Financial. You want to buy? I'm not. Are you sure? Yeah. That's really good. was maybe our me maybe running I think I did like a running workout and I feel like that was like the last thing I vlogged and then we went maybe I was in the car anyways I didn't end up vlogging the rest of that day I was meant to go to a house or apartment inspection that day and then it got cancelled and to be honest like I just I ended up just wanting to have a few days, like just feeling like I don't need to be online. I don't need to like post. I don't need to like film or like create content. Like I just, the past few weeks, like I would say like the past two weeks, like over the Christmas and like New Year break, I've actually properly switched off, which is probably like the first time I've ever, I don't know, properly switched off in a very long time, like in years because yeah, I think, I mean, like, there's definitely been times where, like, I've, you know, been, like, a bit quiet on socials and stuff like that, but me and Ashley, like, obviously this being our job, like, we've always been on, like, switched on, and if it's not, like, physically posting, it's, like, thinking about what to do or thinking about what to create or, like, even with, like, MVP now, like, there's so much behind the scenes that, like, I'm working on that, or we're working on that we're doing that, like, you can't see from an outsider but like it's keeping me busy anyways long story short had a lot of time off which was really nice and i actually oh, i feel like i needed it i honestly needed it and the past few days i have just been going to house inspections and apartment inspections because we're planning on moving which i've spoken briefly about it is so draining like showing up i think i had like seven the other day and then and then one or two on like days around that day and it is honestly so draining like showing up to apartments when there's like one of the one of the apartments we went to there was I didn't count but I have to say there was about 150 people there for one apartment and I've never seen anything like that in my life I've never seen it and like showing up to these inspections is so draining when you know like there's people who are going to be over offering like way past your budget or way past what the listing says and it's just like you're wasting your time like it feels like you're wasting your time because you're showing up to all these inspections 
to then apply for an apartment that you're not going to get. Um, anyway, so yeah, it's just a long journey. Like, <laughs> it really takes it out of you. But in saying that, I'm very grateful for like where I am and like my location and stuff. But yeah, me and my boyfriend have been looking at moving for a long time now. We're hoping to move in the next month or so, so I'll keep you guys updated. And if I do have any other inspections this week, I might take you guys along and like share the process with you guys because it really is, it's a lot. But yeah, as you know, like we're in a studio at the moment, which is so, so tiny. Um, and we pay so much. We pay so much for a tiny little studio. Very excited to have a bigger, more homey space. And one that like, I feel like I can, you know, create content in and like, feel like I can work well in, like I have a desk and stuff that I can work in. Cause like I work at home and like, now I have nowhere I can work. Like I'm working on the lounge or on my bed. So yeah, if we have any other inspections, I'll keep you guys updated and maybe bring you along. But I went to the gym this morning and it's now, I went, woke up very early and went, had a little coffee and then I'm going to jump in the shower and have some breakfast. I'm then going to go off to do some content with one of my friends. So we both like, we're both like wanting to do some content together and I feel like I haven't done some in a long time. Like obviously I enjoy it and I love it, but it is also like my job and I have felt very like lately so I'm really excited to get back into doing that and then the rest of the day I have a few errands to do I need to post some depot parcels I need to get onto that a lot of work on the laptop like I said before MVP is a lot of work and a lot of work that like a lot of people don't see that is behind the scenes and I love it I love it so much but that will probably consist of the rest of my day, honestly. Like, <laughs> it's really not that interesting. But there's so much exciting things coming up. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, I need to drop the shower because I'm all sweaty and need to make some breakfast. weekend and last few days have been so chill here in Queensland the weather has just been so yuck for like the last few days like we haven't had any nice weather it's been non-stop raining it's just been raining like every single day and it's just been such miserable weather which to be honest like I don't mind like I love rainy weather but I'm not gonna lie I am missing a little bit of the sun lately I would like a little bit of sun back because it is our summer and it just doesn't feel like summer right now. I'm just about to head out. I need to run to the post office. I've got a bunch of Depop orders from the weekend that I need to ship off. So I'm gonna do that. I also had to take a bunch of stuff to like the tip because I've just been like cleaning out that second bedroom over here. I have another roommate, hopefully, just waiting on like the final approval, but hopefully she'll be moving in soon. So I've just been like cleaning out that entire room. Um, I feel like I just need to do like a whole big life update because yeah, I just feel like I haven't properly spoken to you guys about me or my life lately or just like what's going on, like what my plan is for this year. So she hopefully will be moving in soon and that'll just be till like the rest of my lease, which is in March, which has gone so fast. Like my lease here is up in March and then I kind of don't really have a whole lot of plan after that. I'm not planning to renew it here because I don't know what I want to do, but I have been like thinking, which I'm... I feel like I've come to the decision that it's definitely what I want to do but I have been like for a little while thinking about like going back to Sydney this year like yeah I don't want to talk too much about it in this video because it's not really what this video is about but it is definitely something that I think will happen this year temporarily I would like to just be back in Sydney a lot more this year just like for work and like Olivia's down there our brand's warehouse is down there my family's down there um my management's down there like there's just a lot more down in Sydney and I feel like 
don't get me wrong like I love it up here like I love it it's so nice and so chill and like yeah. it's not because I don't like it but it's just like in my period of life right now where like my priority is like my career and like growing as a person and like individual I just feel like when you live here especially if you've come from Sydney you realize like how small the Gold Coast is and like how quickly you can like outgrow it and feel like you've done everything and like that's kind of just like a little bit how I feel with that like I don't know I'm kind of just rambling right now the last few months my life has felt very confusing like I've just been so confused and like overthinking everything and like overthinking like my life and like where I'm supposed to be and like what I should be doing and like if I'm doing what I should be doing and like you know it's not, I feel like it's normal when you're in your 20s to just like have waves of like I don't know not necessarily doubt but just like question literally everything in your life um but yeah if that does end up happening that'll probably be like after March and sorry my washing machine is so loud I have a pair of shoes in there because I just smelt I just spilt smoothie all over my new ASICs so I put them in the wash because yeah I can't believe I managed to do that but that's what the noise would be if you can hear it yeah I feel like if that does all end up happening going to plan I'd I am looking forward to like a good change and like yeah just kind of like start a new little chapter and era back in Sydney the last few weeks I've been trying to plan a snow trip in Canada me and my boyfriend are just like so eager to go to the snow and like go on a holiday and like we've not been on a trip overseas yet and I honestly haven't been on like a, a good holiday overseas in a while so we're kind of like in the middle of planning that fingers crossed that goes ahead because we are both so so eager to go and i'm just so excited to do it like i just so badly want to do a snow trip um and kind of looks unreal uh and i've never seen snow like overseas i am really looking forward to that and that's actually like we're sort of planning that for end of february so that's actually not too far away we've been you know Fun, or like working on collection two for MVP, which I'm just so excited about because I feel like now that we've released our first collection, everything after collection one is just going to be like better and like bigger. And like, you know, now that we finally have like customer feedback and like new ideas and like design and we, yeah, I'm just so excited. I'm so, so excited. So like as of right now, Rufus is currently at the groomers as well. I just dropped him off. So he's going to be there all afternoon. I'm thinking of booking another lower body weights class for tonight. So that's like, a, I think a 5.30 class goes for an hour and then I'll pick Rufus up afterwards. But thinking of doing that because I'm really loving just like the variety of workouts I've been doing. Like I know I mentioned it in this vlog and like I did the hot yoga and I did the spin class last week. But I'm just really loving that opposed to like going to my local gym and just doing like my own weights and things like that like it's just the same and repetitive like I just I'm not I'm not motivated to do that and I think right now like I'm just loving like going to different classes I'm actually with Olivia on Wednesday we are coming back together and seeing each other on Wednesday which I'm excited about because we actually haven't seen each other in so long like since last year Anyways, I am honestly rambling so much, but I feel like I just haven't properly spoken to you guys in so long. So guys, I ordered some books from Amazon because 2024, I want to get back into, you know, I want to work a lot more on like my health from the inside as well. Like not just like gym health, like inside health, gut health, skin health, just all of that, you know, sort of stuff. So I got some books on Amazon because I've seen these books like online and they have really good reviews. First one I got was The Candida Cure. It's like a 90 day program to help balance your gut. I just thought it'd be a really good book to get because it's got like great recipes. And this one I'm really excited about. This one is a heavy book. <laughs> this one's really heavy but this is the Cleanse to Heal from a medical medium. There's like a whole heap of different cleanses and recipes um, for specific like concerns, like health concerns or um, whatever you need healing. So it, it says healing plans for all, all sort of things such as anxiety, depression, acne, eczema, Lyme, gut problems, 
brain fog, weight issues, migraines, bloating, vertigo, psoriasis, cysts, fatigue, PCOS, literally like anything. And it's a massive heavy book. I thought this would be just good to have in the house in case, you know, I ever had something I wanted to heal. And I just feel like it's really insightful. It's got a lot of info in here. And I'm really keen to try it out, try some cleansers. I'm also going to go do a hot yoga class tonight. Well, at like 4.30. That's another thing that I want to work on this year is just doing a lot more variations in my like workouts. Like have a lot more variations in my workouts. So like rather than just going to the gym and like doing weights five days a week, like I want to just be doing more variety of workouts and just like add more fun into it as well. So like do a hot yoga or like do Pilates or do more gym classes as well where like, you know, they're a bit more social and fun. So yeah, going to go do a hot yoga class this afternoon, which I'm really excited about. I've not been to this studio before. All right, I'm just getting ready for hot Pilates, or I think it's actually more of a hot yoga than a hot Pilates. The last time I did hot yoga was that time we did that YouTube video. I think it was like, and it was over a year ago now, but it was, I think, Bella Hadid, following Bella Hadid's routine and we went to hot pilates and it was so hard like i just remember it exceeded my expectations with how hard it was like we were sweating and just sweating everywhere and sliding all over the mat so i'm very excited i think i'm just gonna wear this gymshark one piece also our mvp oversized tee i just have our mvp oversized tee on and this is the size i think this is actually the extra small this is the extra small and it is so oversized on me so that's one thing I love about this oversized tee, my camera's sliding down, is that like, it is very true to like the oversized fit. Like sometimes if something claims it's oversized, I'll get my normal size thinking it's gonna be oversized, but it's like not even oversized. And usually I'm small. So this being an extra small and it's still really oversized is like, it's great. I love it so much. This is one of my favorite one pieces from Gymshark. Just got to hot yoga. I haven't been to this studio before, so I'll let you guys know how it is once we're finished the class. But I am really excited. I feel like because it's a Friday night as well, or Friday afternoon, it's gonna be really quiet. I'm gonna try and film maybe while I'm in there, like put the camera on, maybe just on my phone, because I don't want to be that person with the camera up while I'm doing my workout. But um, if I don't get any footage, I'll talk to you guys about how it is when we're done. expect to sweat that much even though it's hot yoga it was compared to the other one I've done it was like a lot slower like the other one was way more intense like and like fast paced and like a lot more Pilates which I think makes sense because that was like hot yoga not Pilates it was pretty good I've just driven to our warehouse to pop in I haven't popped in for a while so I was like I'm gonna pop in see how it's all going and i feel like we haven't actually shown you guys on i don't think we have i think i only have on instagram thought i'd bring you guys along do a little haul and show you hello hey hi how are you, how are you? i'm vlogging today yeah, are you cool? <laughs> it, no it's just on me how, how are you going? going i'm good how are you good sales yeah it's good. going really well is it good yeah. yeah so this is our little section of the warehouse we've got all of our different items labeled as you can tell we've sold out of some things 
and then so there's not much left of our skirts and if you go around this side we've got some more here we've got all of our jersey our sweat sweatshirts baby tees we're also running low we will be having restocks and our one piece which we have none left of our one piece either but yeah just down a little section here but it's a massive warehouse it's like huge and i'm also picking something up got a little parcel from beck and bridge which is really exciting because i love beck and bridge and i bought so many of their stuff over the christmas new year break Oh my god, cute! I got a little suit set. It's like a little kind of suity top with like padding shoulders. And it comes with matching little shorties. How cute is that? And I also got a sequin dress. I actually have the gold short version of this, but I got the silver long version because I love it so much guys I am in the middle of cleaning out my wardrobe like doing a massive wardrobe clean out because I don't think it's confirmed but I'm pretty sure in February I'm gonna be doing a big market stall it's the company the company is called fashion thrift society which I'm not sure if you've heard about them but they're pretty well known like as an event that goes around Australia and does like big market stalls holds big market stores and I've always wanted the opportunity to like have a physical market store where you guys can come and like get our clothes because for years we've really only like sold our pre-loved stuff to you guys like on Depop but yeah I'm pretty sure we're going to be having a market store there so I am literally decluttering my entire wardrobe and going through it and just putting so much stuff aside ready for the markets yeah there's just so much I have to get rid of I've got these two boxes so far there's gonna be like shoes clothes accessories literally everything and I have so much that I want to get rid of out of my wardrobe so that's like not even half of it but yeah I am really excited if that ends up happening because I've always wanted to do a market and hopefully we'll also be able to meet some of you guys if you guys come yeah that's my little task right now that I'm trying to do is just go through my wardrobe yeah, and I feel like I do a wardrobe clean out like every month it's no These pants hold great memories, but I just, sometimes I feel like I hold on to certain clothes because of the memory it holds rather than actually wanting to wear it. Like I've had that in my wardrobe like two years and never worn it. Guys, this is everything I've pulled out so far and I don't think that's gonna be everything. I have so much other stuff, but stay tuned. Um, there's a lot. In the car and on the way, I feel like I've mastered my makeup routine and I just like, I can do it in like 10, 15 minutes now. I'm like, maybe not 10, that's like a bit of a, that's a bit of over exaggeration. Maybe like 15, 20 minutes and I just quickly get it done. I'm also like wanting, I think I want to get extensions again just for a bit of length. Not so much volume, like once I cut, since I cut my hair, my hair is actually a lot thicker and healthier, but just for a bit of length because I kind of do miss my long hair. Just like styling my hair with long hair. I kind of miss it, so I might get them again. So I'm all finished up for the morning, which is good. I feel productive getting back into like content, waking up early, getting stuff done. Like I said before, I'm just gonna be on the laptop for the rest of the day pretty much, so kind of boring. But I also, I need to touch up my lips. And I also need to run to the post office actually on my way home. I have my new favorite lip routine and I really want to show you what it is. So I went and bought two, wait, I think I showed you in one of our recent vlogs. I went and bought two Makeup Forever lip liners. This one is the shade Limitless Brown. And then I also bought the Anywhere Caffeine. And after a few days having it, lost it because I took it to a festival over New Year's and I'm pretty sure it fell out of my bag or something which is kind of devastating because oh, it was like brand new and I really liked it it was like these two were like my combo 
Anyways, I have these two other ones that I like mixing with it now that I lost the other one. So I also love the Huda Beauty Warm Brown. And I've literally used this for like so long, like probably years. And everyone always asks me, and it's always this one. So that's also one of my favorite ones. And then another one is MAC Strip Down. So that's another really good lip liner. So I usually like mix them together and make a really nice brown color and like line my lips. And then I'll use Fenty Skin um, Lip Oil, which I've also just gotten in the mail and I'm really loving that but it doesn't really stay on for very long so sometimes I'll also go over with my Fenty Beauty heat lip gloss so I've just been sitting on the lounge doing some work on the laptop and on my phone and I feel like I've been pretty productive I was just scrolling through like the rental real estate app and I saw the most beautiful place like literally get posted like get listed on the app literally an hour ago and i was like oh my god I haven't even inspected it yet and i was like oh my god this place is so beautiful and like kind of everything we've been looking for i've submit an application <laughs> haven't inspected it yet but i've submitted an application and the inspection is on Wednesday, which I actually can't do Wednesday because I'm in the Gold Coast for work. So I texted the lady and I was like, please, are you available for me to come and see it? So I'm hoping she gets back, but it's literally so beautiful. And like, you guys have probably heard me <laughs> raving on about it for so long now, but I'm just like so, so eager to move because like, as you can tell, our place is so tiny. And I feel like because we knew this place was so tiny and temporary, we didn't like decorate it or like we didn't put any effort in with the furniture or like just make it feel like home. So I'm just like really excited to like move into a really nice homey place and get some like really nice furniture which to be honest but yeah I'm just like really excited to like decorate it and like can take you guys along with the moving process and then I think Ashley her lease is up in March so she might be moving as well and I'm just like, I'm just in work mode as well. Like I'm really excited to like hustle and work. I did mention earlier on in this vlog that um, I wrote down some goals at the start of the year. I kind of want to create a mood board as well because every year I create a mood board of like that kind of represents like what I want my year to look like. And I haven't done that this year. And make it like my desktop screensaver for like my laptop because I do that all the time. As you can probably see, don't know if there's anything important on here, but that's my desktop screensaver and that's from last year. So I kind of want to do another one. Looking back at it, a lot of things did happen. I don't know, like just reflecting on my mood board, like a lot of things did happen that I didn't like think were going to. Like there's a festival on here. There's moving in with my boyfriend, which at the start of the year I was doing long distance. So like I didn't really think that that would you know necessarily be realistic but that happened and also specifically the shopping bags i have in here is coach bags and coach is one of my like favorite brands which i've like been gifted and been able to work with which i feel so lucky about and then there's our podcast on here which at the start of the year we didn't have our podcast and we launched that in like march and then our brand mvp i have that on this mood board and there was a point where we didn't think that was going to happen and it did so there's a lot of things on here that like come into fruition. What's the word? Fruition. I usually just do mine on Canva. I usually just put laptop screen saver into Canva and then it'll come up with all the dimensions of like a laptop screen saver. Customize this template and then I kind of just like put a bunch of pictures on my white template. And then I usually just get them from Pinterest. So I might go and do that and then I'll show you guys how I go. So as I mentioned before, I wanted to show you guys my mood board that I created. And it kind of just has like a bunch of pictures. It's like what I do every year when I create a mood board. I just get a bunch of pictures from Pinterest and just like put it into like a Canva document. I have lots of different pictures, some for like health, fitness, a lot for like business and work and like relationship and stuff. A um, little bit of travel, but like I also don't really have huge travel plans this year and 
I'm kind of like gonna take it as it comes if I have any travel opportunities come up but although I do want to go back to the UK at the end of the year for a few months but that's just like something I want to do I don't know if it's actually gonna happen because uh, I would love to have a white Christmas and then yeah I've got like a lot to do with like MVP and some things we're working on and the designs design process and like all of that fun stuff but yeah so this is what it looks like I think I'm gonna set it as my laptop screen saver like background and I might create like a phone one as well in a phone like the phone dimensions for the wallpaper but yeah it's really cute I also have a new car because so hoping to get a new car soon um, and yeah like a few quotes and stuff